Hello, welcome to Joel Plays. So glad to have you guys here. Today we're going to talk about multi-track audio recording in OBS Studio. Do you know that OBS Studio actually allows you to record up to six separate audio tracks? So you have complete control over game audio versus mic audio versus Discord audio, TeamSpeak, whatever you're using. Uh, up to six separate audio tracks so that way when you're editing your videos you can, you're not fighting the levels between your mic and your gameplay i'm going to set this up in obs i'm going to show you how to do it also going to throw it into premiere and show you the different audio tracks let's jump on the computer let's get to it all right now that we're on the computer here there's a couple things we're going to check for multi-track recording for audio uh, this only works for recording and not for streaming because when you're streaming it combines everything into a single track therefore this is only for recording. So once you open up your settings in OBS, we're gonna to head to output. We're gonna to go to recording. And then you can see here, there are the six audio tracks here that you want to include in the recording. So whichever of these is checked, it's gonna include that track in the recording. So let's say for instance, you had your mic assigned to track five, but you didn't have track five selected for the recording. It's not going to be in the recording. Make sure that uh, if you're using six tracks, we're going to include all six tracks. I'm just going to go ahead and inc include all those while we're at it. The next thing you need to make sure is that you're using MKV or MP4. Uh, you might see FLV in there. FLV only records one track. So if you want multiple audio tracks, the best thing to do is use MKV and then do what's called remuxing the recording afterwards. And I'll show you where that is as well. Remuxing is just taking an MKV and putting it into an MP4 format so you can use it for your editing software or uploading straight to YouTube. The recording quality doesn't matter when it comes to audio. Uh, so we're just going to talk about audio here. Don't worry about these recording settings down here, except for when you're setting up your recording, you want to make sure your settings are correct. But for audio, let's just worry about this audio track and we're going to use the MKV file for our output. The next thing you're going to do is head to advanced. In the recording tab of the advanced, you're going to see a checkbox for automatically remux to MP4. You're using an MKV file, so you need to automatically remux that to an MP4. So make sure that box is checked. And that should be it for this section of it. So we're gonna hit apply. We're gonna hit okay. You see here, I have uh, one scene created and I'm using my Elgato to capture my uh, Nintendo Switch, Kirby's Adventure, one of the best games ever. You also see here that I have my microphone the Elgato sound and then desktop audio. If you click on one of these little cogs here and you get down to advanced audio properties, you'll be greeted with a box that looks like this and you'll see the audio sources that you have available to you. On the right hand side of this, you'll see tracks. And these are the tracks that this source is going to be sent to. So for example, if I want my desktop audio to be on track one, I make sure it's checked for track one. I want my Elgato to be on track two. So I'll uncheck everything except for track two. And then my microphone, I'm going to leave on track three. Another thing that I like to do is I like to have a backup track, which is everything in one track. So that is my, my mic, my desktop audio and my Elgato or whatever source it is. Uh, you can have as many sources as you want, but you only have six audio tracks. So keep that in mind. If you have discord uh, that can show up as a separate audio device here, put that on a separate track. It's going to separate that out when you record this track selection works as a input output matrix. So whatever input is on the left is going to go to the output on the right. So desktop audio is going to track one and six. Elgato is going to track two and six. And my microphone is going to track three and six. So as long as you have these going to separate tracks, you're going to be good. Now, if I layer these tracks on top of each other, again, I'm mixing my Elgato and my desktop audio. I won't be able to separate those in the recording. If you're trying to get everything on a separate track, make sure there's only one checkbox per track. Unless you're like me and you like to have a backup track in case something goes wrong. So I can hit close here and I should be able to start recording. And then I'm going to put this into Adobe Premiere, which is my editing software of choice. So you, whatever editing software you use you should recognize all these different tracks and you should be able to edit them separately. So before I start recording, I'm actually going to head over to the YouTube audio library because I want to have some type of desktop audio playing in the background. So I'm just going to pick an audio track and play this here. All right. So now that I'm ready to record, I have uh, background music playing. I have the Elgato playing and I have my microphone. I can't hit record right now because I'm using a different recording software to record this. So I'm going to just record a small clip and talk over it and I will be right back. All I'm going to do is hit the start recording button and then stop it and I'll come back in just a second. All right. Now that I've recorded a small clip uh, again, it was just desktop audio, the Elgato 
audio and then my microphone audio. Uh, once you hit stop recording, it'll automatically remux to MP4 as long as you had the setting clicked that I showed you earlier. So now that we can close OBS, I'm going to grab the newest MP4 that I just recorded. I'm going to open my editing software of choice, which is Adobe Premiere. But again, you, you use what you're comfortable with. I'm going to grab the newest MP4 that I just created, copy it into the project and onto the timeline. And you'll see as I'm dragging it onto the timeline, you'll see all the audio tracks here that we chose before. So remember I had six audio tracks. I'm going to make this a little bit bigger so we can see all six. So audio one, two, three, four, five, and six. And you'll see that four and five have nothing on them because I didn't put anything to those tracks, but I did record all tracks. Audio's track six was my backup track. So this has everything in it uh, in case I lost something or need to go back and grab a piece of audio from something. Audio track one is the desktop audio. Audio track two is the Elgato. Audio track three is my microphone. So I'm just going to mute this backup track and actually mute track five and four because I know there's nothing on them. And you'll see when I play this, it'll be everything that I put together. So this is me recording and showing the multi-track audio with Elgato. So there you have all of the audio on separate tracks. I can actually mute certain tracks if I wanted to, recording and showing the multi-track audio. And you'll see that that is only my microphone. If I unmute track two, this should be just the Elgato, which is the Nintendo Kirby music. And then this first track should be the audio from the YouTube free library. Again, I have different tracks. I can raise or lower the volume. So if the Kirby music is too loud or I want to not include the free audio from YouTube, that's fine as well. Or I can raise the volume on my microphone. So this is me recording and showing the multi-track audio with Elgato, the desktop. And now I have full control over my audio tracks. I don't have to worry about trying to get my levels right in OBS down here in the audio mixer. Uh, as long as they're not clipping, I should be good to go. And again, this is only for recording, not for streaming. If you go back to your file settings, go to output on the streaming tab, you can only select one audio track at a time. So if you're recording and streaming, you wanna make sure that the audio track you have selected in streaming includes the audio you want to go to the stream. For recording, check the boxes you want to include in the recording. If I go back to here, advanced audio properties, so in this case, track six has every track I have available, every audio source I have available. That's what I would want to go to the stream. So in my settings for the stream output, I would use track six instead of track one because track one was only the desktop audio and we don't want that. So now you see how simple it is to get up to six audio tracks in OBS. So whenever you're recording your gameplay, uh, you're not fighting your microphone and your gameplay audio or whatever audio you have playing or if you're streaming and you're using music and your microphone and your gameplay and you don't want the music in your video or exporting later, then it's easy to get that stuff out of there. Or if you go back and find that and you're recording your gameplay is too loud, you can lower that or increase your mic volume. All of this is very simple. Uh, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. I'm always happy to help out. Thank you guys again for tuning in. I really do appreciate it. Love you all. Peace.